Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We are out here today at the first official day that this flea market is open. Now this flea market here is just a little small town flea market, usually not a ton of vendors at all during peak season, like five, six if you're lucky, but today is the first official day it's open, so I figured we'd see if we can have some luck here. There's a few vendors, okay. A couple people came out. Lots of stuff, lots and lots of stuff. Welcome to Palmart. How much you want on the Wii? Uh, He's not down here yet. Yeah, really I was going to say, it, you yeah, want, I didn't see bucks. him yet. Yeah, it's cool me. There's a, that's a game gear right there. I'm not sure if this is the back of a rubber or whatever. There's an Xbox here. Cool. I, just, I know because he can't hard, you know, this guy. I had, to come, yeah. I had to come down last night and put all this shit out. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little pile then. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I was hoping. He usually gets some fresh stuff every once in a while. I just started messing with him. He's like more my friend than anything, but he hasn't been to the back of these in, in years. That's what he was saying. All the way into the back of them. But it was like just too much going on back there, trying to look at boxes while having one foot up and holding on to a <laughs> ceiling. Yeah, I bet. And they, those things are packed to the brim too. Those like are empty except for those cases. Oh, are they? I think so. I think there's like one game in the middle. I, just, I started. I wasn't gonna buy them. I was just looking because I was gonna throw the cases away last night. I just didn't get to. Gotcha. Oh yeah, he uh, said he bought some uh, Dungeons and Dragons cards. Nah. Yeah, I passed him like right as he was making the deal on the way in. Look at that, SummerSlam 99. Look how old that Woody looks. Man, he has seen better days. Gucci. 
My little Gucci cigarette holder. All right, brother. I'm gonna set up with you. What do you think? Tell me. It's 32 much. 25. That sounds good to me. You know I'm easy. I'll just bring my car up. Pull with her in. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. How's it going? Still Thanks living the dream. Oh yeah, party. good to see you I down here. You I did. Yeah, what's up, yep. Of course I am. I had to come right over here. Yeah, we didn't really get much out. I had my. I That's what he was saying. He's. Just stop. <laughs> I was feeling like a beast. I don't have to work. Or anything. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure you make it back tomorrow night. Sunday night. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Uh, the heck is that thing? <laughs> no idea. Amazing Labyrinth Raver. Another little Game Gear game, Streets of Rage. Throw that in our pile. Any game wear old clothing for me, did you? No. Any other swords? All right, I'm good with that little pile right there. This stuff. About uh, 15. Hour. All right, I only ended up buying stuff from that one vendor, but it ended up being a whole lot of stuff. So not a bad little haul right there. I'll show you everything we got when we get back home. Actually, here's just a little sneak peek of everything. You can see I got a whole bin full of stuff. I just told him I'd bring the bin back to him next time I was down here and he was cool with that. But yeah, full of a bunch of random stuff in there. Not bad, we'll go through it all here in a second. Okay, I'm sitting here editing the video and I just realized I did not go through and show you guys the pickup. So I need to do that real fast because I actually made the last minute decision to go down to the flea across Florida, which means I don't have much time for this. So let's go ahead and go through those super, super quickly. I'm just gonna show you the items and pop-up comps for the items next to it. All right, so first up here we have not one, but two of these amazing Labyrinth games. A SummerSlam 99 Road Rage figure. Two of these little 1995 Power Ranger figures. These were just thrones at the end, but anytime you can find Power Rangers new in the box, I'll take it. Next is a couple of Xbox games. First we have Titanfall 2, Far Cry Instinct, Total Overdose, True Crime New York City, Dead or Alive 3! And then this last one's kind of cool. It's a Tomb Raider Legends first look DVD. It's like the DVD they would play at the video game store to give you like an idea of what the game's gonna be like. Super stoked to find this, a Game Gear. It has the original soft case, the system itself, and a few games down here. We've got NHL 95, World Series Baseball, NHL All-Star. This one's the best one out of all of those, Streets of Rage. That's actually a really good game to get. And then there was one in the back of the Game Gear, it's Holyfield's Boxing. And then there's the Game Gear itself, overall not that bad of shape, but I will have to turn it on and test it out because a lot of times these don't work. Historically for me, Game Gears have been one of the most unreliable consoles to actually work when I pick them up. Next up were these guys right here. These are like little advertising signs. I think they're the ones that you would slide into like a gas station, um, like the price sign, you would take these out and just like slide them in for like advertising. You'd see they do have like the slides on the side. I'm not really sure if that's what they're for, but there are two Pepsis, I'm sorry, three Pepsis, uh, two Coca-Colas and two 7-Ups. I have no idea if these are valuable or not, but I grabbed them. I also picked up this pot right here. It isn't by a famous artist or anything. It is signed on the bottom by Jenna. I think it's just some random person. 1978. It's a really good looking pot. I think it'd be nice with a little snake plant coming out of there. So that's a personal. All right, got some more smalls in here. This is kind of fun. A Looney Tune Koosh Ball. Who remembers these things? Little Koosh Balls with the little frillies coming off of them. This one's obviously Taz, brand new with the tags. This one right here I picked up because sometimes locks can have some really good values. This is a rim deadbolt double cylinder. 
Also got ourselves a graphing calculator. It is a TI-82, so it's not a very good one, but hey, it's still a graphing calculator. I had no idea what kind of instrument this was, but it said Rhythm Tech down there, and it sounded kind of fun, so I threw it in. Next is a little older model Roku. This is the Roku 2 XD, a Star Wars Episode I battle droid rifle. I swooped this one right out of one of the bins as those other video game resellers came over. It's a Nintendo DS, the original one, and it does have a game in the back. It's got... SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, as well as Naruto Ninja Council. Then we got another video game system, an original Xbox. It does have the controller and the cords down in there, but I'm going to obviously have to test all of these video game things out. I might as well show you the other video game console. This is the first one I saw, actually, when I walked up there, a Nintendo Wii console. It is missing the top door, and it was a little wet, so I'm going to definitely have to plug this in and test it out. Hopefully there's a game inside, because a lot of times there is. Something is... Oh my god, it's Hannah Montana! <laughs> what a terrible game to get. Then there were these guys. I'm not really sure what they are, but they're marked Giorgio Brutnini. If you know what this thing is, let me know down in the comments. There we go. If you know what that thing is, let me know. I think it's either like a tie chain or the things that you put around like your glasses to keep them from falling off. Not 100% sure though. And then there's this. I believe this was my best find of the day. This is a Gucci cigarette holder with a built-in lighter. You can see if we open it up here, you can put your cigarettes right inside there. And then on the bottom right here, there's a little trigger. And when you click that, it does spark in there. You can see it. And then I think the flame would come out here if there was butane inside. So that might be a little rare. I think I've seen other Gucci lighters and stuff sell for some pretty good money, but I've never seen a lighter holder and cigarette combo thing, so pretty cool. And that's it. That's everything that I picked up at the flea market. All of that stuff came from the same vendor. I've dealt with that guy a bunch of times in the past, so this was a great little way to start out the season, the first day out there at that specific flea market. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite item that I ended up picking up or what was an item that you picked up recently at a flea market yourself. Anyways though, I gotta get ready to head down to Florida. I'm driving 11 hours down there to hit the flea across Florida. It should be an awesome time. I plan on doing a couple different videos. It's a multi-day event, so if you want to see those videos, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I will have those videos out as soon as I get back. Otherwise, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace!